In today's tutorial, we are going to learn Sciography of Pyramid. So without any further delay, let's get started. If you are new to this topic, you can watch my previous video about Introduction to Sciography, Sciography of Point, Line, Plane and Prism. So let's start with example number 1. A pentagonal pyramid of side 3 cm and axis 8 cm long is resting on its base on HP. Find the shadow profile of the pyramid while the distance between VP and axis of the pyramid is 9 cm. First of all take a look into 3D representation. We can clearly see that the shadow profile is pyramidical in nature starting from the base and finishing at the common point. Let's start with the drawing of basic orthographic projection as per the given condition. And draw a light ray on point O in plan and extend it to the ground line. And now draw a light ray on point O in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, the light ray of point O in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane. And wherever it strikes the light ray of point O in plan, that point will be the shadow of point O, that is O dash. Now join the point A and C of the base with O dash to get the final shadow profile of pyramid and hatch the shadow profile with the light intensity line. Example 2 A pentagonal pyramid of side 3 cm and axis 8 cm long is resting on its base on HP. Find the shadow profile of the pyramid while the distance between VP and axis of the pyramid is 5 cm. Now again take a look into 3D representation and shift the pyramid towards VP so that the distance between axis of pyramid and VP will be 5 cm. We can clearly see that how shadow profile is changing. Now shadow is falling on HP and VP both and finishing at a common point. At this point I recommend you to watch the case 3 of my previous video about Sciography of Line part 2. Let's start with the drawing of basic orthographic projection as per the given condition. And draw a light ray on point O in plan and extend it to the ground line. And now draw a light ray on point O in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point O in plan strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in vertical plane and wherever it intersects the light ray of point O in elevation, that point will be the shadow of point O, that is O dash. And wherever light ray of point O in plan strikes the ground line, name that point turning point 1, that is T1. And wherever light ray of point O in elevation strikes the ground line, name that point turning point 2, that is T2. Now, Draw a perpendicular on point T2 in VP and extend the light ray OT1 to this perpendicular. And wherever light ray OT1 intersects the perpendicular, name that point O1. Now join the point A and C of plan with O1 with light intensity construction line. This is the shadow profile of pyramid when shadow is not falling on VP as like the example number 1. Now. Wherever the line AO1 intersect the ground line, name that point turning point 3, that is T3. And wherever line CO1 intersect the ground line, name that point turning point 4, that is T4. Now it's time to draw actual shadow profile of the pyramid as per the given condition. Join the point A of base to T3 and T3 to O dash. And join the point C of base to T4 and T4 to O dash. So this is the final shadow profile of the pyramid and it's time to hatch it with the light intensity line.
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दू साइोग्राफी ऑफ पिरामिड आई होप इट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू